Right, we are approaching Whitley Bay, just at the bottom of Hill Heads Road on what's called Marden Bridge, just past Little Morrison's, in fact we've just been to Little Morrison's, which used to be a safe way. Um, been there for a spot of brunch. So there we are, um, and we're heading towards Blythe. So we'll see what happens, if anything, on the way. And in the car today, as usual, we've got Harrison. Hello. Hello, and we've got Isaac. Say hello, Isaac. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fat Ox. This to be also known as the Tap and Spile. Are you going to go on the car? The fat ox is named after a real, actual fat ox. There's a story floating about somewhere. It was, um, could be completely wrong, but I'm sure I read that this uh, big fat ox was marched from Whitley Bay to somewhere else. It's in a local history book somewhere, but um, as I say, could be totally wrong. Right, to the left, that's uh, Parkview Shopping Centre, which used to be the post office and um, behind it was the bus station. Actually, I tell a lie, the post office was further back where the CNS was. Is. That was the old bus station, which was knocked down about 15 years ago. Down here's all changed, obviously. Um, what used to be the heart and soul of Whitley Bay once upon a time, the Spanish city, which was shut down in the early 2000s. And uh, decided to build a school there, Marine Park, I think it's called. Yeah. Which replaced the old Marine Park school, which used to be around here somewhere. I don't know if that was where it was on the left. Um, Favourite memories of coming to the Spanish city was the corkscrew roller coaster, which was there from, I think, 1983 um, till about 91, 92. Then went on to Flamingo Land from there, and then it moved to somewhere in the south of France. It's got a completely different name now. So there's one for you roller coaster geeks. To the left, the Playhouse, which was uh, rebuilt a few years back. So we're going to do a right here, which will take us onto the seafront. If you were to do a left, that would take you up to Monksine. As the uh, the sign in front of you says, so I don't really need to say that. Bird meat tavern to the left, which uh, the downstairs yeah. bits been converted into a core. It's all under regeneration at the moment, Whitley Bay. Um, although the, the, the local residents are all split down the middle. Some people like the new plants, a lot of people don't. But you can't please everybody really, can you? My view is, at least the council are, are trying. You know, they're doing something about it rather than just letting it rot might not be to everyone's taste, that's fair enough, but at least the effort's there. There's Wave Swimming Pool, used to be known as the Leisure Pool. I used to go there as a kid, it used to have this big orange slide, which is uh, long gone now. Coming up on the left, the Briardine pub, which has recently been uh, refurbished. It was destroyed by fire. Um, I think it was last year, or the year before. Uh, obviously shut down for ages. It's been redone, it looks quite nice. I haven't been inside it yet, but I've heard it's supposed to be okay. It's just there. Uh, 
Now, if anyone's, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure some of you have uh, seen the Lightly Lads movie from the 1970s. Um, some of it was filmed uh, down here. Uh, the bit where they stay at a B and B. Yeah, it's based on a B and B on this street. Can't remember the exact building, but one of these houses on the left was that B and B. The lighthouse on the right, which I don't think you'll be able to see from that angle. Um, there's a path just in front of us now, just where we're turning here. You can continue going up there on foot, just there. Um, about 100 yards up there, hey, probably a bit more. There's the remains of a bridge, which was built as a railway bridge. Because uh, running parallel to this road was a railway line that was built uh, before the First World War. Uh, to connect Monk Seaton through to Seaton Sluice. Now the line never got opened. I've mentioned this in one of my previous videos because there's another bridge um, just before you go on the Hive Road. Um, they were going to use... Um, what was I going to say there? Uh, it was built before the First World War uh, but when war broke out it never actually got opened and it was used for like military trains and stuff. And it was pulled down after the Second World War. But um, there's remains of a couple of bridges there, one just before the Beehive Road, and one just up that cut. Nice chippy along here, uh, on the left. It's quite popular in the summer. It queues out the door. I think it's got a restaurant as well. That's at the harbour, harbour view. And then if you turn right there, that takes you to the Waterford Arms, the King's 
King's Arms as well. Seems this club as well. And there's the Melton Constable. If you go up there, um, if you have a look at my uh, Starlight Castle video, then you see what's up that way. So I have to open the window and get a bit of air because it's a bit uh, stuffy in here. So apologies if the sound quality goes a bit downhill. Right. right, along here is the first speed camera that I remember remember. It's been there since about 1994. Ironically, I've been caught twice speeding and one time was here. It's like they're the most obvious speed camera in the world because uh, everybody knows about it but still managed to get zapped. There it is. to go to if you like standing in dog turds. Estate, just up ahead there. If you carry on on this road, it takes you into Blythe Town Centre. I mean, both roads do, to be honest with you, but this is the quickest way. But we're going to do a right, and we're going to pull in outside the coastline chippy and get some fresh air. I think. So that's uh, Whitley Bay to Blythe via Seaton Sluice. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, then uh, click on that thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. I have plenty more videos to come. And thanks for watching. Share the video if you want, get some more views. There's some beach trucks over there, look. Radio station, Beach Up Radio, named after those. There you are. Right, anyway, that's me. That's me done. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Drive safely. Ta -ra.